Hi everyone, my name is Taya and I'm here to do the manga tag today and I was tagged by Miss Random Badger, also known as Miana, also known as my lovely co-host from Double Team, which is every Friday at 8pm my time, which is Belgium time, so I don't really know what time that is on your time. So anyways, let's get started with the questions. Question number one, what is your first manga? So my first ones were Dead Note that I bought myself. So these two were my first ones. Uh, I remember being excited for just buying one. And I was like, I, I need to get the second one too so I can just keep on reading. Question number two is what is your most expensive manga? And I think it's Bleach, but um, I mean it's like three volumes in one. So... I mean, it's, it's like 15 euros, or I think it might have been like 20 euros, because now I see it's like 15 dollars on here for one. So that is probably my most expensive manga. I don't own that much, so that's probably the reason I want to buy more. But that's the reason why I don't have more, because of money. And I lack some of that. So, um, yeah. Also, this um, bleach mask, um, masked... Uh, official character book too um i remember that this one was more than like no not like these but like the normal volumes and i have no idea actually why i bought this because i was just so obsessed with bleach at the time and i just wanted to have it also because of the the pretty art god damn it okay pretty art and all that so I did really like that and yeah, probably, I don't know, I wanted to have more information and all that stuff and I do, ooh, I do like all the, the art thingies that's in there. So yeah, um, I haven't, like actually I haven't read this. I like, I don't know, I just like look at it and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, and interesting. But yeah, also one of my most expensive manga I'd say is actually the Zelda ones that I have. I have the whole collection and I think if I like count that all together that's probably my most expensive ones. I paid less for my Death Note collection than I did for my Zelda ones. And these are some of the Zelda ones and they are so fun and I like the art because it's always different um, depending on what game they are um, any not animating, um, you know that. Question number three is a uh, least expensive manga and that is probably my Evangelion chapter kind of comic books slash manga and I, I really like these because it's like I have a lot of these but um, I still have a lot of there I'm, I'm too lazy to get them now but I really like them and they cost me like one euro or one euro fifty which I don't know, I, I think it's okay for one chapter, but I just like how old they are. And just like, I just love like the thin paper and all that. I don't mind it at all because it's like, it's some kind of like comic book magazine kind of thing. So I really like it. Question number four is if I have um, any boring manga. Um, yeah, sure, like this is the most boring manga I've ever bought. Yeah, right. Um, no, I don't have any boring manga because why would you buy it if it's boring? Because, I don't know, I just check it out beforehand or I've seen the anime or something like that. So that is how I don't have boring anime. I mean manga. And um, I don't have the money either. So I feel like it would be a, a waste of money if I buy something that I don't know anything about. And question number five is favorite manga series. And I would have to say from what I own. I don't have too much. But from what I own, I would have to choose Attack on Titan. Because I've been reading a lot of that. And I've been... I just... Uh, I just love it. Like, I only have one volume though because I read the rest online. I don't have money for the other ones, so that will just have to wait. And also, I would like to have like a box set of this, so I'm kind of waiting like to just keep this one and maybe sell it later and see if there's a box set or not, so I can just buy that instead. Question number six is most relatable manga you own. I don't relate to any of my manga because it's all crazy ass stories and I don't sell that chip. So I'm not I'm not on it, no, no. I'm not killing titans, I'm not I don't have any Dragon Balls. Well actually I, I do, but 
I mean, it's not gonna get me anywhere, so, and, um, yeah, I don't have a notebook, while well, my brother does, um, not a notebook, a dead, dead notes, um, I don't have that, and, uh, yeah, Pokemon, I don't have Pokemon either, um, Sampakto, no, I can't do that, so, no, no, I'm not relating to anything. Number seven is one manga that was adapted of an anime, I don't own any of those manga, I probably read some, but I don't own it, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Question number eight is rarest manga that you own. I don't own any of the rare manga. Rare, 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 rare. What's one of your reprinted manga is question number nine. I don't have any reprinted ones, I think. Because I don't know much about all that stuff, so I don't think I have reprinted manga. Um, if you think I do, just let me know and then I'll have more information, I guess. Question number 10 is most popular series you own, and that's probably Bleach. Um, I don't own... God damn it. <laughs> I don't own um, everything from Bleach. I only own till uh, volume 9, so this one. And I still need to buy more, but I will when I have like a, a ton of money so I can just buy everything from Bleach, because I do want to catch up with everything, because I've heard it's getting a lot better. Um, I didn't like the anime too much anymore, and I just kind of st stopped reading, so, um, but I, I do want to read more now, so I'm kind of excited to getting more of these. Question 11 is most damaged manga you own, and I guess it's like the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, like, collector's edition ones. Um, not the book itself, but like the, how do you call this, you know, the thingy around it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of, like, busted, and it's like, ugh. Oh. But, um, it's okay, because it keeps this safe, so, it's so good, it's so good, so, yeah. That's what it's for, so, yeah, I, I'll like it when they have these, uh, thingies. If you know the name, you can just let me know, because <laughs> I don't, god damn it, I'm so bad with words. Question number 12 is, um, which of the manga you own has the most amazing art? And I would just have to say Attack on Titan for now. Uh, maybe Claymore as well. I like the art for Claymore as well. So maybe those two. I really like those two. So yeah, I've seen better ones, but that's online. So um, I'm not going to talk about that now because I'm talking about the stuff that I actually own. Um, also the Zelda ones. Just because they have different arts on every game, I do like that a lot as well. Question number 13 is oldest published manga that you own. And that is probably Dragon Ball. So, yeah, that's pretty simple. And question 14, which is the newest published manga that I own, and that is Attack on Titan, again. Then the last question, which is question 15, is um, the recent manga you purchased, and that is Claymore. So, um, it's volume 1, and I'm going to read more. Um, I'll have to buy more before I read more. So, um, <laughs> I really want to have the whole collection for this one, and it's still publishing. So, I'm really... I don't know, I still want to catch up on all the series. I've seen the anime like a few weeks now, like a month ago I finally finished it and I really want to know what's going to happen after that. So that's why I want to buy more and read more. So yeah, that's it for this manga tag. Sorry if I couldn't answer all the questions uh, correctly or just not answer them because I don't have that much of a collection. I do read a lot online but I don't have much um, like, in real life, <laughs> what am I saying? So I have to tag, like, some people, and these people will be Yokurama from, uh, Yokurama Game Talk, or, uh, Yokurama News, and Abby from Bizarre Jelly 5, and, uh, Erika from Erika Sabo, and Daza, or Dr. Daza from Fighting for Nippon, and Chibi, I don't know your real name, sorry, from Chibi Reviews. You are all tagged and I hope you make this video and you'll have a lot of fun with it as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can just give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments of my stupid answers <laughs> on these questions. I'm so sorry. Um, also, I wanted to say this might come off as a shock to you people, but I don't own any of the Full Metal Alchemist manga. Uh, I know, right? I really need to get on that. It's a shame because I'm such a big fan and I don't even have that. So I really, really want it. Um, I'm gonna buy it right now.
no. Like I said, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to, you can just do that here or on my channel. And that's it. So, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye.